and gals and all my non-binary friends so today we are going to virginia and virginia has 13 electoral college votes abolish the electoral college it's just a way of keeping the power out of the hands of the majority and if we're in a democracy that should not be the main objective key dates to remember are going to be october 13th which is the voter registration deadline september 18th all the way to 30 October the 31st, which is Halloween, it's going to be the early voting in-person absentee days. October 20th is going to be the recommended date to have your mail-in ballot back in. October 23rd is going to be the vote-by-mail request deadline, mail and online. And then, of course, November 3rd is going to be the election. And I want to emphasize that if we don't get all the election results on election night, specifically the presidency, but all of the um results on election night it's not gonna be that crazy because of the record, num record number of early voting and mail-in voting so trump wants to make it seem like that's suspicious but no that's actually our democracy working at the best that it possibly can and the fact that u.s postal service me members are going out of their way to get around the rules that people have set to try to slow down um mail-in voting they are working overtime to try to make sure that they don't have to do that bullshit some people are going out of the way to even after their job is done to go back and pick up ballots to make sure that they get out and that is beautiful like literally when i heard that it made me kind of want to tear up like and if you need you want to track your ballot you need to know how to get registered you want to check if you're still registered please check out the links down below vote.org and vote safe america in the description box what are the vote by mail requirements in my state all registered voters are eligible to vote by mail in Virginia you just in Virginia you just need to fill out an absentee ballot application that's very convenient and again they suggest that you have your mail-in ballot back in by October 20th does my state require my ballot to be postmarked or delivered by election day apps must be postmarked by November 3rd and received by noon on November 6th which is going to be that Friday for your vote to be counted they recommend you mailing your ballot by October 20th you can also return your mail ballot in person on election day to your local register before 7 p.m. again on election day, which is November 3rd. What are my numb mail ballot return options? I just said them. You can return your ballot in person to your local register by election day at 7 p.m. What if I request a vote by mail ballot, but I would decide I want to vote in person instead? Contact your local voter registration office. You can also track the status of your absentee ballot or decide if you want to vote early by doing in-person absentee vote. What if I don't receive my ballot by October 20th? If you request your ballot, but you still haven't received it, contact your local voter registration office. You can also track the status of your absentee ballot. If your ballot arrives before election day, you can return your mail ballot in person to your local registrar by election day at 7 p.m. If you still don't receive your ballot on election day, you can cast a provisional ballot at your polling place. Can I vote early in person? You can vote early by casting an in-person absentee ballot from September 18th to October 31st, again, which is Halloween. Uh, those are gonna be your early voting, but if you can vote by mail, please do so for your safety and the safety of others. But if you are going to do that, wear a mask, keep a safe social distance. And if you see any sus people, like the Proud Boys, trying to intimidate, coerce, threaten, and all that other stuff, please call 1-833-336-8683. Do I need an ID to vote in person? Yes, you do. A state driver's license, US passport, student ID from Virginia School of Higher Education or any private school. And so public school IDs don't work, that's some bullshit. Employee ID, tribal ID, voter photo ID cards all work. So there aren't any legislative elections going on in Virginia in the November election, um, as well as no judges, but there are two ballot measures and ballot measures are personally my favorite part of a ballot. So I'm kind of excited. The first one is the redistricting commission amendment creates a redistricting commission to draw congressional and state legislative districts see this is why i love ballots this is interesting who gonna be drawing those district lines a vote yes supports transferring the power to draw the state's congressional and le legislative districts from the state legislative to redistricting commission composed of state legislators and citizens. The redistricting plans are passed as legislation and subject to the governor's veto power. Option 1 would transfer the power to draw both congressional, state, and legislative districts to a 16-member redistricting commission, compo commis compo 
Commission composed of eight legislators and eight citizens. The commission's eight citizens member will be recommended by legislative leaders and selected by a committee of five retired circuit court judges. Second and last ballot measure is going to be the motor vehicle property tax exemption for disabled veterans amendment. Exempts one motor vehicle owned by a totally disabled veteran from property taxes. A yes vote supports exempting one automobile or pickup truck a poor pickup truck from state and local property taxes for veterans who have 100% service connected permanent and totally total disability. Question two would amend the Virginia Constitution to provide veterans who have 100% service connected permanent and total disabilities with a tax exemption for one automobile or pickup truck. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is responsible for determining a veteran's disability ratings. In Virginia, if you live in, oh, I'm so bad at pronouncing names, Chesapeake, Chesapeake, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, Norfolk, Richmond, and Virginia Beach, you have, these are your municipal elections coming up this year. I noticed all four of you guys have mayor races and city council races. City council is so important, guys. They make so many decisions, so please check out Ballotpedia. That link will be down below for more information on who's running in these cities. There are two school board elections happening on November 3rd. Y'all had two other school board elections but they happen in may so if you missed that and that's going to be the end of this video and i really don't um talk about gerrymandering a lot on this um on this youtube channel but i love that virginia you guys are trying to do something about that by making a a 16 member commission where our citizens normal citizens hopefully will be selected by the committee and um equally the two parties will of legislators eight leg it's going to be eight legislators and eight citizens that sounds amazing um for i don't like the fact that the legislators and judges get to choose which citizens go i think regular citizens should just be able to choose who they want but you know that's just my two cents um but yeah i really enjoyed that ballot measure that's really cool so um on that note I really hope that you guys are making a plan to vote. I really hope that you found this video informative. I really, really hope that you're making a plan to run in the future. I think it's really important that we all work on this so that it can work for all of us. Does that make sense? Cool. Um, so on that note, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. Wash your face. Wash your ass. Wear a mask. And don't be an asshole. Bye.